Oh, you're still alive. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. Um, I was going to take my hat off for this important part. But, um, so on behalf of Father Powers, just greetings from uh, uh, myself and St. Michael's and St. Mary's that we are praying for you and we are offering Mass every day for the people of St. Michael's and St. Mary's. It is certainly a, a difficult time. Um, mostly, you know, praying like everyone for an end to uh, um, COVID-19, the coronavirus, for the health of our parishioners, our loved ones, our country, our world. So hopefully we're all united in prayer uh, in that great intention. And this is just one thing we're doing um, to follow the, the CDC guidelines of not getting more than 10 people in the church. So it was an idea that Father Powers really liked and he was generous to give me the first night in the cold rain. Uh, so we had seen it done somewhere else, probably a much more southern diocese, but uh, it's been great. I don't know, maybe eight cars, eight vehicles come through on the first night and we haven't really gotten the word out yet, so I'm sure it'll only grow. So uh, just humbled to be an instrument of God's mercy and to have people turn out um, for the sacrament. The other thing I wanna say about the great sacrament of the Eucharist, something I said last night to the last crowd that came to mass at the 5.30 mass on Wednesday night, was that perhaps the Lord is inviting us to fast from the Eucharist. Something that might sound crazy. Uh, why would we ever do that? Fast from something that is perfect. And yet if you think of why we fast during this holy season of Lent, it's to make room for Jesus Christ. To make us more hungry for the Lord. And so our prayer is that someday in the near future, the, the virus will end and the, the fast will end and our hunger for the Lord will, will be met. So have a blessed Lent. Happy Feast of St. Joseph. God bless you.